Okay, hello YouTube. As per usual, I'm going to give it a few minutes for my chatters to gather in the box who are going to be live with me today. So if you're watching this as a recording, um, you might want to scoot through a little bit. And again, my hands are freezing. Gives me a minute to put them over the heater and try to get them thawed out so I can move them. <laughs> I think today I'm going to... Um, trying to find the piece of paper that I did this on. Huh. Putting watercolor through a stencil, which worked out pretty well. Where the heck did I put it? Well, there you go. Another mystery. Or is it on the other table? I'm going to walk over here for a minute. At noon. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. Oh, well, if it shows up, I'll show you. I posted a picture of it in the announcement that I was going to stream. But where it is this moment, I don't know. There's Joan. Hey, Joan. Um, I think I have gremlins that steal my stuff. So these are just a few of the prints that I made from last week's stenciling mania. Love this. Um, that's just the background. One of Robin's. This was with alcohol. Oh, here it is. It's right under the alcohol ink one. How cleverly disguised laying there like that. This is the, um, what was that called? Xander sent me this. It's similar to Terraskin. What's it called? Mineral paper. It's called mineral paper. Uh, it's non-porous. It's kind of a plastic, but it's not plastic. It's made out of stones, just like the Terraskins is. So it's great for alcohol ink. So that's alcohol ink put through one of Joan's stencils. Hey, Dot. I know, Joan. That's that's the truth. Um, so you just put spray that I sprayed the paper with alcohol, laid the stencil on it that kind of sucked it against the paper, dripped alcohol inks in all the open spots, and then set it off to the side to dry. And you can see where it bleeds under, kind of looks watercolory out here. Yeah, so that's what that's what that was. This I just brushed, yeah, brush, brushed a variety of watercolors through uh, one of Joan's stencils. That came out pretty interesting, but I'm going to do that again first off and let that uh, set it aside and let it start to dry, and we'll take a peek before we wrap up today. So let me let me dig myself out of this. Hole I have here. Tear this little bit off for CB. She likes to make stuff with my scraps. <laughs> Get this out of my way. That's just going to bug me. Now we got a nice full, cleanish sheet. Get my phone out of my way. Grab a piece of watercolor paper. Um, you know, as I say that, I wonder what it would look like on UPO. I'm going to grab a piece of UPO. And let me grab a stencil. I'm going to use this one. I love the stencil and it's got some open holes in it. Um, this may be a mess, but I'm going to spray this with water and not alcohol this time because alcohol with watercolor, it does some cool effects, but not what I want it to do as of now. Hey, Robin. Hey, Michelle. Sherry. I mean, uh, Jackie. CB. There's everyone. All right. I'm going to, this, has a lot of paint on this side. I'm going to put the clean side down. So hoping that kind of adheres to the water. I'll give it a little 
little press there to try to get it to suck up. And now I'm just going to take some random watercolors. Actually, speaking of random, my favorite lightning is sitting right here. So let's just let's just be that random, shall we? Hey Debbie. Happy birthday recently. Hey M&M. &M. So this is from Lightning. No, sorry. Nibs watercolor and this is the Lightning watercolor that I love. Hey Michelle. So I'm just going to get this brush pretty saturated with it. And I'm just going to brush it over the stencil. Some of it's going to go underneath, of course. It's so soaking wet. I sprayed the paper with water. I want to get a little more pigmented in there. And this watercolor separates really cool into a purple and turquoise colors. It looks kind of Payne's gray when you first see it. Auntie Rue, welcome. That's a new name. I like to see new people in chat. We had crazy weather here yesterday. Oh my goodness. I'm in Severn, Maryland. Uh, it's unusual for us, but it was, um, we had snow. I'm just going to flick some of this off of the palette now. Get this a little wet and flick this off to add more pigment in there. Um, temperatures dropped night before last. Then they got warmer again in the morning and it rained like crazy. And then it, the temperature dropped and it turned to snow and it was and and gale winds, gale force winds. It was snowing huge flakes Looking out the window, they were blowing side. Oh shit! They were blowing sideways, literally horizontal, with the wind. And uh, we got a few inches of snow, and then that stopped. And it got a little bit warmer again. And then last night it went down to 19, but it was like eight degrees with the wind chill. I'm in Maryland. I'm not in Alaska or Canada. I'm just putting that there because it's pretty. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to set this aside. This has to dry before I want to move the stencil. You can already see. Let me get it on this piece here so I can have something sturdy to lift it on. And I'll lift it up to the camera where you can see what it's already doing. See how those colors are already starting to break out. Oh, Mama loves that. Now, we'll see how it turns out. I think it'll be pretty cool, actually. But, you know, in my head, I do things because I think it's going to be pretty cool. And as we know, that is not always the case. And more usually not. But, you know, doesn't keep me from trying. Not going to scare me off. I ain't scared. Okay, so I thought what I would do is try to come up with a little collage um, using some of these papers that we created in the stencil frenzy last week for the sale which by the way um, I hope everybody got some goodies and and uh, are receiving them I know Xander got hers Oh, I got too many pretty papers. Yeah, I know. I, I remember that as a kid too, CB. We, one year we went to my mom's parents' house, my brother and I, for um, our school break around Easter. And we were probably six and nine years old seven and ten somewhere in that area and um it was had been really nice weather and my mom packed our bags mom and dad drove us up dropped us off they were going to come back and get us like a week later and it snowed for easter like thigh high 
So in order for us, I remember I wrote my mom a letter saying, Dear Mommy, thank you for packing all the tank tops and shorts and sandals for me and Skip. We had to wear Mama and Pop Pop's clothes to go out in the snow. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Um, so, yeah, that was... But we did it. Hey, Malia. Okay, let's we have a few papers to pick from here. Some of these are the ones that I hit with my ran through the mink, so it would pick up a little little stuff. I love this. It's it's nothing, it's just a background. Got a little bit of foil that picked up off the plate. Shadows of stencils that were a clean off. But I do love that one. And I do love this one. I think that one's gonna come into play. And some shiny pictographs. And some of Robin scripting that I ran through the folder. You can't hate those. Let's see. All right. Pardon me while I rifle through the stash. Oh, look, another. And another. And another. There's a background one in here is what I'm looking for. Oh, these are pretty too. There's Joan's script stencil. It's one of my favorites. Um, these designs are a combination of Joan Smithies, one of my mods here in chat, um, her new launch of her designs at, at eye stencils. Um, then I mingled in when I, as I, after the first day of the demo, I demoed every day of the sale. Um, this is mine. We got some of Robin McClendon's in there that I demoed, um, uh, some badass stencils I demoed. I streamed every day. So I tried to mingle them up and mix them up just to show how they can be you. Oh, look at that one. I love that one. Oh, and I love that one. Oh, my. Oh, and I love that one. Oh, mercy. Where's the background that I wanted? I have designed another script. Oh, wow. Good for you, Joan. Where are you? Ooh, that's pretty too with the red. This is on that paper Z gave me that um sulfite paper, I think it's called. black tissue. There it is. I knew you were in there on well, this deep. I'll as well just see what else may come into play. Oh, who knows? Maybe a surfboard. Oh, look at you, yummy. Robins, badass, badass. I don't know what that was a too metallic of a cleanup. That's a badass cleanup. Joan, Joan, Robin, Joan, Joan. That's so cool. That's the one I, I foiled. And that's the script foiled. Hello, lover. Oh, these were cool too. There's way too many. I have way too many choices. Maybe we'll do two collages. <laughs> oh, oh, look at you. Have mercy. And I actually had a few up here that I... I'm going to have a craft a lanch there. This was paper 
I bought a couple of brushes from Infinity. It starts with an N, N-F-I-N-I-T-I. -I. Um, and this is the paper that was that was sent in. You know I'm keeping that. And this was off that uh, roll of um, the paper I wasn't that wild about. It's all right. But I was going to save it for this and these little bits. One of these days. Oh, here's some with my... Um, Art foamies. That's just a background. I think that one's really cool, though. That's Joan's. Um... You know what? Maybe I'll do one with, like, golds and one with kind of grays in it. Ooh, and I love this piece. All right. Let's... For the love of God, put the papers down. Until I find this stack. Let's see what's in here. Anything I can't live without. Those are pretty too. Oh, this one was really pretty. That's the one with that pearl white and the ro uh, was it the rose gold paint and the pearl white paint. All right. Stop. Now, out of this mini stack. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hey, Jude. Hello. Hey, Margaret. Um, okay. Well, let's back up. And I'm going to look at doing like a gold warm pile and then a cool gray pile. That kind of can straddle the piles, but I'll put it there. This is the gray. This is a gray. This is definitely gray. I might put that there because I'm going to get rid of all that if I use it. Gold. This could go either way. This. I don't know. I'm going to put that over there on the side. Um, go. That could really go either way. That looks kind of cool with that. As a background. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Gold, gold, gold. Gold, 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 gold. Definitely gold. Did that help me? Probably not. <laughs> All right. Let's. Let's see if I started with the background of that. I laid this down, cutting this out. Won't be any room for that. Unless I don't use a background. Well, let's do this first. One thing at a time. I'm going to... Dr. Cynthia, hello. I watch every day. Oh, <laughs> well, I hope you like every one that you bought. And we appreciate it. Um, Jones here, sharp. Most of those new designs were Jones. Um, and I'm not fussy cutting this rascal. Not going to happen, people. You know, I don't have the patience or the skill. But I'm going to get as close as my brain will let me. rid of that. Um, we do appreciate your support and hope you like them. And if that's why I try to make sure as many people know about the sale as possible because I'd rather see somebody that wants to buy them get them at 25% off than full price. It's not about you know I'd rather you know I'm not trying to push them and talk people into buying them. I mean people that know me know that so Hopefully, I don't have to say that, but I'm never pushy. That's why I never make a good salesperson. I think some salespeople are too pushy. Like, if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it. Get out of my face. Thank you. 
but that's just me. Lordy. This is a little too fussy for me right off the bat. Not looking at the chat right now because I'm doing this. Tedious, yet necessary process. Good enough. Judy, hello. I stopped to peek at the chat. I could feel people mentioning my name. some of this black too so it doesn't take up so much of the page but we still have that black border okay wasn't that fun to watch <laughs> I know how to entertain <laughs> oh not so much all right let's see what that looks like See, I think that looks cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now, what if I... had part of that circle sticking out of there. Nope, too big. Oh, you know what? Let me do something. Hang on. I, I don't know why the light bulb just went off and actually hurt my brain. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try something here. Hang on. I'm putting one piece of onion skin in with the, my tray of paper and my printer. And then I'm going to where is that I wonder? No. No. Hang on. I'm trying to figure out how to shrink this. That one. No. Crap. See, this is what. This is what hoses me up doing stuff on the fly. <laughs> Quiet mode, network, Bluetooth, print code, blah, 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 printer maintenance, reports. <sighs> well, that doesn't seem right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's do... <gasps> oh, I think that's the quantity. Holy hell, we don't want to do that. Color, black and white, magnifying glass. Oh shit, what did that just do? That sounds serious, whatever's happening in there. Ah! <laughs> Never pushed that button before. Can't see chat from here either. No. No, no. What the hell did that do? No. Number. Holy crap. One, please. If that was 50%. That doesn't seem right that I can't. I know I can shrink it. Okay, well, not today. 
We're going to skip over that step until I figure that out one day. Sweet Moses. I, yeah, I love this one. I love this stencil. So, if I did... Should I put a background down of something like that? That's too shiny. See, I'm getting too shiny again. Not everything has to be shiny. This is shiny also, but not needed. I don't think that I don't think that brings anything to the party. I do like this piece though, which I'm holding upside down. Um see this takes up so much of the page. I'm gonna make this very tricky for someone of my nimble mind or not nimble fragile <laughs> I don't know where that would come into play this is this is confusing Read the chat. Didn't have a stroke. Um, it needs something else. Hang on. Oh, I just looked in my drawer and I have these. Remember these little ditties? That color doesn't really match, though. Maybe with one of the gray ones, I'll put some of this in there. These were the cash register tape with the stamp cleaner with stamps on them. Let's put those up there. Um, where the heck? Don't tell me I'm out. That can't possibly be. Holy mama, say it isn't so. I'm going to have to print some more. I'm almost out of my stripes. <laughs> oh. I wonder what a little bit of that just around like that would stick out of there, perhaps. You know, Dot loves these, and I, I feel bad leaving them out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's my... There you are. Oops. Don't go anywhere. Who are these? There's a little bit of the silver in here that looks kind of bluish. 
is what I'm kind of looking at. And this has some blue in it, but it's kind of gold for that. What was I with this? I'm not going to put the whole thing in there. I'm just looking at the gold against this. Maybe I should go this way. And just put kind of a large... It's kind of busy. You guys can't really see. Hang on, let me buzz, buzz you in here a minute a little bit. This kind of leaves some white space with these bland circles here, but brings in a little pop of metallic. And I'm thinking about cutting it like from here, cutting this off and just having these two strips come down there. So let's cut it and see what it looks like. Let's just see. Yep. That didn't work. I think that paint was there. It was too thick right there to let the water do its thing with melting the tissue. Doing the same thing here over this chunk of paint. I could just use my ruler, but that would probably be way too easy. Lord have mercy. Come on. That's a nice little stripe for something at a later date. Cut out some of the white space in the lace with a craft knife. Not a lot to sun. Cut out some of the white space in the lace. <laughs> Let me explain again my inability for fussy cutting. <laughs> Not especially. Hey, Sandra. No worries. Another Judy. All right, let me see. That's not my only choices. This one piece is kind of dominating. Let me have a look-see. It's kind of a crazy possibility. What's that look like? Ooh, that's kind of in your face. I don't think that's the one. Oh, this one's kind of interesting. This is an old, old, old print. Gosh, that's an old stencil. I probably made that print, and I remember where I was when I made it. Me and uh, Marylanders, you know Donna Walsh, um, I used to go with her to a retreat that some of our friends had up in a little cabin in Pennsylvania. And I was into this color combination then and I printed everything I had in the pile in this color. And this was a really cool tribal looking stencil. I don't even know where it was from. But um, I don't know. That doesn't look right with that though, does it? It's too busy. 
too busy. Crap. <laughs> oh, hang on. crazy. Oh, this is a clean off page. That's a wild print, but I really liked how that cleaned off. Huh, I don't know. I can't say that I hate it. Let me, um, In another oh geez all this fucking tissues up okay hang on you know I was telling you guys about that be creative wet strength paper and I can't figure out where I bought that nor can I find it again online what I did find that I think is similar is from a company called Carnival in the UK that's too crazy. Um, too wild. Um, you can get it on Amazon. And I looked at the... Um, I looked at their Carnival website. And hey, well enough, it, uh, they only ship in the UK. So how rude is that? But you can get it on Amazon. You just have to wait longer. I wonder if we just put a little something like that in the background. Can you even see it? It's, um, I sprayed some of the bronze spray that I put in the spray bottle. That, and you can see the turquoise. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's really faint. If I push it down on the white, you can see it. There's a little bit of turquoise in there. It's kind of, you know what, that's kind of cool, actually. It kind of goes with this, colors in the background of this. What the hell, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Let's go this way. Now, what glue? This is fine, 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 fine. Dare be dare. Oh, cool. You got them. I hope you enjoy them. Okay. So I'm thinking. Where is it? This. Maybe this. Yas oh, Yasutomo. But I'm going to have to put this pretty much on the whole page. <sighs> or should I just use white glue? That jar is feeling a little light. <laughs> Let's just do this. You know what? So many decisions. I'm telling you, my brain's not up for it. I'm just going to use a glue stick because I don't want it to get too wet. So, okay, here goes nothing, people. And I'm just hoping this is going to stay sticky enough until I do this whole flipping page. It's not going to take, you know, Gorilla Glue to hold it down or anything. I love those Gorilla Glue commercials where they always have the people screaming when they look up to see the, the Gorilla standing there handing them the glue. For some reason, their screams tickle me. That sounds evil, but uh, it's a very comedic scream. All right, let's try this. Let's just flip and do it. I 
I'm going to let it hang off a little and I'll cut it off later. You can actually, I can actually see more of the turquoise with it pressed against the white paper. Can you guys see that little hint of the glisten of the bronze and the turquoise? It's very ethereal and light. Now, do I want to do more oh, before I lay this down so that this becomes the foreground and push more stuff into the background? For instance, some of this shiny scripting. Um, let's see. I didn't move anywhere. Oh, here, it's over here. <laughs> Margaret said yes. What did I what did I ask? Oh, you can see the okay. I'm back. I had a little mental vacation there for a minute. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm seriously beginning to wonder about my mental capacity of late. Okay. And I'm going to take a couple individual strips of this. being difficult so I'm just dip it in water. I think I've got to put more in here. This has one of those plunger fills on it where you stick it in a bottle or bowl of water and suck it up like you would a fountain pen. And I think I'm due. Okay. Let's do that. Now let's see. What we got? just curl on top. For those of you who may not know what my crazy mod is talking about, when we were all in Arizona together. Several nights we went to the Dairy Queen and I would sing them the Dairy Queen jingle. That's where the curl on top comes on. <laughs> curl on top. Okay. So what if we did, this is going to come over it. What if we did something like so? And like so. Like that. It doesn't look bad really. But I want a little, how about if I take one of these green circles and put that in there. Somewhere. Where we want to put that? That's the question. I'm just going to kind of tear it out. A little black border. One of the reasons I like using this black paper, even when it's an opaque paint, um, I, when you tear it, you get this automatic little black border. Oops. Oop, don't do that. Don't you do it. I need a pair of scissors that are kind of like have a deckle. Is that such a thing? Deckle edge scissors? Where I can get a rough edge but still cut where I want it to cut and not have it tear off randomly and screw me up. Is that a thing? Does anybody know? If it is, I need them. This is just um, printer paper. It's black. It's um, Nina, N-E-E-N-A-H. 
Astro Brights. The color is called Eclipse, and you buy it in a ream of 500. I get it on, on Amazon. My Fairy Treasures. That's Angie, correct? Crappy Dimple Edge scissors from the 90s. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Let's just see. What would that look like? And where, see if I put it there, kind of in the middle where it seems like it would make sense to me. I cover up a lot of the good stuff. Maybe I just put it down. Maybe I just don't put it anywhere. How about that? Oh, I'm out of frame because I'm zoomed in too tight. I can't put this any further away from me. I'm going to have to pull that out a little bit. You can get deckle edge scissors, all sorts of different. I know I've seen different, like, you know, like pinking shears and waves and stuff, but I want something that looks like it's a raw tear. I'm gonna. Huh. I'm gonna do that. So maybe this should go under this. And let's go under here. A little under and over. And this go like so. Now I had that backwards. Not that it really matters, I guess, but I like that O, the big O at the top. Like so. Like so. Maybe not quite that long. Tear it off down there. Maybe tear some of this off so you don't see it. Maybe put it like that. Move my hands away. Okay. I'm tired of thinking about it. Let's start gluing this sucker. Whatever happens, happens. Nobody ever said it was going to be perfect. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm anxious to see what that piece of Yupo paper is doing over there with the stencil over it and the watercolor. Okay. Let's go somewhere in the middle-ish. That seems reasonable. Now that I look in there, it looks too high this way. It's down on the paper now, so... It is what it is. See, that's what happens when I, I zoom it in. I can't I can't see down on the whole thing. It's it's like way I have long arms and it's too far away for me to work. F Co Decal Edge Scissors on Amazon. I'll be all over that. Thanks, Robin. Um Maybe I'll tear that underneath here. I have another little snippet left for another day. Let's do that. Oh, but I have that under there. Well, it might just have to go there. Okay. Never mind. Talking to myself. Don't butt in. <laughs> you don't want in this conversation. Trust me. You knew what went on in my head. Okay. Now, I don't know where that was exactly, but we're going to, we're going to assume it was somewhere in this vicinity and call it close enough. A little crooked and they're backwards did you notice they're backwards i printed my own backwards i caught that and i did robins and jones the right way but i printed my own bass backwards that's okay oh my let's do you let's see here's one i know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I want the whole thing? I just have a little of that sticking out, or do I want to pull it down here? So more of that shows. Maybe we'll do that. All right, I'll tear it here. Makes you wonder what she said, Gala. Apparently, she reconsidered. <laughs> okay. Um, glue boogers on my fingers. I really think it needs a little, little something down here, maybe. No. Oh, mercy. Okay. Let's. It's all gluey on that side. Under there, calling. Oh, there's something under here. There we go. Hunk of salt, I think. Causing me a little bump. I almost tore that. Oh, that would have not been good. Gail would have had her pencil out, writing me down in the book, right and left. I know what I can do. Hang on. I've got to find it. Ouch. There we go. I put a little chop in the corner with red. This has to go. This is two. What the hell is that? Way. Now, let's, this little bit right here looks good. Get a little red in there. Actually, this is going to be too fragile for Miguel to say. A oh. <laughs> uh, little too fragile for the glue stick. So I'm going to put a little bit of this white glue. No, I really am. Now, why aren't you cooperating? Why does everything seem to be a problem today? Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Look at you. I knew you could do it. 
All right. Let's put this little rascal. Where are we putting it? Over here? Over top of this? It seems a little busy. It seems a little hidden. Should I just do it right? Oh, shit, I'm off screen. See what I mean when I'm zoomed in? I don't know. Should I put it there? I know it's usually in a corner, and then it's over top of that or over top of that. Too much thinking. Drop it like it's hot. All right. Let me get this. piece there jasper are these printables from robin um jasper some of them are none of the ones you see here are but i had some in my stash i was showing earlier uh we had an eye stencil sale last week and i joan smithies are the ones that were the most uh that were being launched the new ones so it was in honor of her new stencils but i incorporated after the first day i incorporated some of um mine and robin's and badass stencils like for instance this one is a badass stencil this round one here is an eye stencil these are my pictographs um so this particular collage does not have any of robin's in it but i do have many of those <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. These aren't printables. These aren't printables. These are just jelly prints that I did. Sorry, I misread that. These are just from a stack of jelly prints that I did uh, during the sale last week. And this stuff is so fine, it's hard to even catch it on the first go. Oh boy, cutting the paper. I'm telling you, I cannot. It's like trying to operate a motor vehicle. Whenever I have anesthesia, they ought to say, don't use scissors instead of worrying about an operating a motor vehicle. Honest to God. Oh, whatever's hanging there is going to hang there. <laughs> Was warning about stencil because I'm designing some stencils and I'm new at this whole YouTube art platform. Okay, well, let me get, well, that's not too bad. That's all right. You can see where I ran that jelly print through the, uh, the mink. But I, I do like this. It's very, so there you go. You can see some of the turquoise that broke out in there and some of the sheen of the bronze if it hits the light just right. I don't know what that angle is for you, but it's there. Okay. Now what she says. I'm going to walk around the other side and check on that piece of Yupo paper. I started a patty collage journal of which I'm going to keep your take too long time penalties. <laughs> fill up pretty quick. I hope it's I hope it's got a lot of pages to it. <laughs> Oddly enough, when I'm here by myself, I zip through them. But when I got a hundred different opinions on the phone, actually that's still a little wet. It's dry on some parts, but a little a little puddly. But remind me to get that before the before we wrap it up. Please. That sounded rather demanding, didn't it? Remind me to do it. <laughs> um, so I wonder if I remember this. 
Do you design your own stencils too? I do. I do. I have mine. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Well, see, I tried to tell you I'm here, but you didn't look I would scare you. Okay. It I'm streaming. It didn't work either. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to streaming. Trying to recover from a heart attack you just gave me, but that's okay. That's all right. Dave's home. <laughs> you couldn't tell. CB said, hi, Dave. He said, hey. Uh, not that I'm aware of, huh? Thanks. So I'm wondering if I started with a piece of this on a background. Oh my God. I'm telling you. Some days I do wonder if he's trying to off me. <laughs> so I'm looking at this little chunk here. If we just covered the page with that and started, where would that lead? Oh, I don't know why, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Of course, now I can't see my folds, can I? Oh, more or less. I'm going to just tear these. Oh, he said he was trying to give me a sign that he was here. I missed the sign. <laughs> All right, let's just try this. Yes. And this. All those times I was trying to tear papers and they were too thin and they kept slipping. I missed the cork roller deal. Um, that really helps with the slippage. Well, it did. <laughs> Until I mentioned it. Son of a bitch, what's happening here? Why isn't that tearing? Mm. I wonder if it's a different kind of ink that's a little more grabby. I don't know. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Put this back over. And the pile. See this one laying there too, but that's right. out of the way. Okay. How did you make that gorgeous, that big tissue paper? Um, I, hey, Tam. Hi, Shelly. A couple people sneaking in. They mean when I got my back to the chat. Uh, welcome, everybody. I took a trash bag, plastic trash bag, laid a piece of tissue over it, sprayed water all over it, and then dropped inks and watercolor on it and just kind of let it do its thing. And some sprays, some Assess sprays. All right, let's see. This is out of the question. Out of the question. Maybe be able to use a little snippet of that somehow. Maybe. Oh, I like this one though. But see, now this is this is transparent, and that's going to disappear when I glue it on there. So maybe just a little bit on this lighter turquoise side would work down here. I want to get this whole stroke in there if I could, and kind of cut it like that. So this one was a piece of rice paper that I used that same watercolor, that lightning. And, you know, just went down the page with it. But it didn't separate like it does on any other paper. Hey, Gwen. Um, then I took 
my silver black ink and script it over. You can see the scripting in the background where it serves like it's silver because the black came through the back, right, on the rice paper. And then I put Jones script stencil over it in rose gold paint. And then I ran it through the foiler, the, the mink foiler, and a little bit of the gold foil stuck to the rose gold. See that little bits on there? It looks kind of like glitter. That's actually foil that's stuck there just on those little bits because none of this stuff is acrylic so it doesn't have adhesive in it to heat up and pull the foil off the carrier sheet so hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. all right let me oh you know what i might want to do I really like, uh, where, is it? where are you? I really like this piece. And this is on Deli. So it's not going to be as transparent. You see those three real subtle circles down there? That's going to block out everything that I put it over. So that's the question. Do I want to do that and sacrifice any of this beautiness? Beautiousness? Or this is on tissue. Oop, get over there. I could do like maybe one of these eventually up in that black corner. That's a possibility. Maybe some of this that I started to do. See, again, I'm doing in the middle and coming out like that. I'm on that kind of a, of a brain meld there. Oh, but what if I just did this little, this one arc right, right here? So I just went, and that's tissue. So some of that turquoise will come through. Or do I do it coming this way? And then I can still have that tissue, that turquoise point to put some of that scripting over. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking of making it easy on myself and my brain's in a knot. Oh, this might be good. Oh, hey, Pharrell, how are you? Um, so this was Joan's stencil that I printed in gold. And then I just took a piece of my black copy paper and picked up what was on the plate and see how puckery that kind of looks. Uh, it still looks like it's wet sort of a strip of that may not may not be a bad idea let me ponder it. maybe we can go this way and use one of these bigger designs here and take up a smaller strip or do i want to go down the whole thing with one of those i don't know does anyone remember the name brand of the toilet washers foil is where i got that idea remember i told you that this is foil in chat here that i was telling you guys about that i got that idea these i just i can't find the ones foil that you have in australia that are foam these are kind of rubber but i did get them on amazon and you just look under um plumbing uh i think i just put in plumbing washers i forget what i did but are you Pardon me, you can go to the hardware store in the plumbing section and look for different ones, which I haven't had a chance to do yet. But these are just rubber. Hey, mess. Oh, yours are rubber. I thought they, they look like they had a foam texture on them. See, these are rubber and they have um, the brand impression on there. So you got to watch, watch, watch which side you use. These are all raised little bits on here. So you got to be sure to use the back side. And then when you use them, then the paint peels off of them and you got to, you know, do all that stuff. But um, foam ones would be nice. Really thin foam ones. Anything that's a circle would look good. So, um, see, I thought this was going to be easy with this background 
Perhaps not. Here's Joan's stencil that I, um, the same one that I printed in black and then I ran through the make boiler so that acrylic heated up and pulled a little bit of the foil off. You can't hate that. Let's just, let me cut this out. I'm just going to cut that. I need longer ones. It's going to take me forever. <laughs> you just want to make sure that the thickness of whatever round washer you're using isn't enough that it interferes with you trying to lift the print any more than these thinner ones do. The thinner it is. And you know what? You could probably get some kids craft foam in circles and cut a circle out of the middle of it and use that. Okay. Let's see. What the heck is that? And this will cover up my little boo-boo here. <laughs> Perhaps. I just put that coming in on that side. Usually I like these from this side. You got to come in a little bit more. That still doesn't look. You can't really see that very well. I don't know. Or, you know, why don't we turn this? Don't be stupid, Patty. <laughs> Let's turn that so the turquoise isn't in that corner. Hello. <laughs> Nobody said I was a genius. That's better. <laughs> but now they got this dark point. You know what's interesting? You guys know the silver black ink that I use, right? This and the silver black. It's got silver mica and the and the black sumi ink, and when it, when I put it on here, see how it's separated? The, it's like the silver ran right out of the black. That looks pretty cool. I don't want to cover that up necessarily. So if I did that, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Shoot, I don't think I have a piece big enough to do it. You know I like my black and white stripes. I can't believe that I used all those. <laughs> Dot, I'm going to have to print out some just for you. Crap, crappity crap. Oh. Huh. I didn't know I had this. This is something like Foil was using the other day, spray, spray inking it. I just found this in my drawer. What do you know? What do you know? That gives me ideas. Um. <laughs> See, I have this one with the bigger stripes, but that's kind of a bit much. But if I just, just to get an edge on there. Let's just see. There's something in my head. Let me work with that. You know how it is when I try to fight off what's in my head. Now if I put this on here... Now watch, see if I can pull this off. You know how I can't use scissors. <laughs> how is that possible that I can't use scissors? But, you know, whatever. I just want to follow this arc just to get another little layer that's going to mimic that curve. And is it going to be exact? We already know that answer. Hell no. 
Oh, but see, now I like that because it kind of separates it. You can see more. It makes this pop out more and kind of separates it from all this crazy talk over there. So let's do that. All right, let's get that down. Let's get this down. Let's move these off to a safer harbor. Oop. And this is going to be kind of fragile to, um, which way do I have that? This way. Yeah, I'm going to, I think, use some liquid glue on that because it's going to be a little hard for the glue stick to pull that off without ripping it to shreds, I fear. Oh, I wonder if some of these would work on that. Squirrel just got distracted. Ah, the color's kind of off, isn't it? This is a lighter one. I don't know. That's a lighter one, and I like that design. That stamp that's in there. Possibly. Oh, here's that script stamps. All right, we'll see. Okay, a piece of deli paper. All right, I'm just going to use this. Try to hit the edges pretty well. How did that clog up again so quickly? You know I didn't use that but more than 10 minutes ago. Hi, Jasper. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> oh, Gayla. Bless your little heart. All right. Stay there. I don't want to get the paper too wet. Good Lord, that's... I must need to wash out this nozzle. Okay. Good Lord. This wasn't the best. I don't think this was my best idea. <laughs> but we're, we're in it now. We're going to commit. Hang on, Gala. You might want to put your helmet on. Watch, this will dry up before I get the whole damn thing done. <laughs> and I don't care that every square centimeter or millimeter is not covered because it'll squidge out when I press it down. And it's going to be in my journal. It's not like it's going to be hanging in the Smithsonian. Is it? <laughs> I can assure you it's not. <laughs> Gala was Patty's bless your little heart. Sincere was a deep self version of. <laughs> okay, bring the book back. Now let's see how I can hose this up.
Well, that's a little, a little off. Ooh, that cooperated. But I don't think it's going to cooperate a second time. So pay attention, Patty. Pay attention. This time where it goes is where it goes. Senator Patty, when the first half of my stencils came, I realized that I ordered the wrong one. Will they exchange it for me? I bet she will, um, Sandra. Just email Sherry at the um, the information email. Um, I forget what it is. It might just be info at iStencils.com, but I can't swear to it. But um, she's, I mean, they have great customer service, and I'm sure she will do whatever she can for that. Wait a minute. Why is that one? Okay, close enough. I'm not a machine, people. I am not a machine. <laughs> oh, this is a very strong... <laughs> Gala, I have witnesses that may not corroborate your story. I love black and white stripes. I don't care what that says. All right. All right, baby. Work with me. Work with mama. Work with mama. This is not very forgiving glue, I can tell you that. It's sticky. But you better be ready to commit when it touches the paper. It's a little off, but that's okay. So am I. <sighs> okay. Now, where do we go? Where do we go from here? Broken bones. <laughs> that just makes it funnier. I mean, only that you lived and he and healed. Is it funny? Ah, Joan. <laughs> oh, there's one from Joan. Oh, she's a wicked lady. Oh, I wanted to look at these, didn't I? Let's see these three. That's Seth's stamp, if you can't recognize Seth's stamps on that tape. See, that's not going to... And that's Seth's stamp. Hmm, I don't know. I do like... Who's those ones I had with the... Here it is. With the rose gold and the pearl white paint. What did I say I was going to put over here to the turquoise showed? Oh, that was this. That's out of the question now. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, and here's this little bit. I wanted to try to maybe somehow squidge a little bit of this in there. I like that black showing on the edge there. 
I should have started pulling it like that from the other side, but no. Okay. Which way did I do that? This way? No, this way. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, not looking at the chat right at the moment. Very precise stuff I'm doing here. This is critical. <laughs> you know how Gala likes it when I take my time. Ah, look at you. How pretty are you? Which way do you go? Does it matter? I kind of want the skinny end down here. I don't guess it matters. I don't hate that. Does it really need much else other than that? Oops, there's my blue sheet getting all gnarled up with everything else. <laughs> That's what it was. See, she was mesmerized by me singing the Dairy Queen jingle. She just lost it and tumbled across the Dairy Queen parking lot on her way to the trash can. It's not really a singing jingle. It's more of a chant. But it goes like this. <laughs> now that you twisted my arm. A bee, a buy, a bow, and a bop. Sure, that's Dairy Queen with a curl on top. For some reason, that took Gala out. <laughs> She she rolled across the parking lot, curled up in a fetal position, much like one of those little pill bugs, we call them. When you touch them, they kind of curl up like a ball. That's kind of what she looked like. Fran, hi folks. What paper is the black stuff with the gold? Okay, Fran, this is um, black copy paper that I get on Amazon. It's by Nina, N-E-E-N-A-H, and it's the Astro Brights. Nina Astro Brights, and it's called Eclipse Black. It comes in a ream of 500 for like 20, I don't know, 25, $28, I think. I'm still working. Now, this is my second ream, but I got the first one several years ago. But I love it because that way you can get a black border on stuff that I tear. And when I, you know, um, use different things, I can get that black edge on it, which I really like. Um there's one of Robins I put through the foiler, but I don't need text on top of text. I do like that. Let's let me write it through and see what else I have in here that I might want to. This one might not need that much, honestly. Where's the stack of the? Oh, this is what I was looking at putting on top of there. That's going to be too much now. Oh, I could use this little bit over here. And use a smaller edge and come down and cut it like that, maybe, and just get this little bit up there. I wonder what that would look like. And then do I want this script on script? I don't know. Let's try it and see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Doing everybody talk at once. April. Hello, dear. Okay. I'm going to take this bit here and I want to get this whole stroke of that silver black ink in and I'm going to grab some of this as well and kind of make it and I'm going to use the rice glue or the um, what the hell is it called? I'll show you. The glue that's made for rice paper that makes the rice paper pretty much disappear. Let's see how this works. This usually tears really nice on the rice paper. That's kind of drying up on me. Oops, I want that. Where did I do that before? Oh, I see. I went around here. 
talking to myself, which is usually what I do when I'm down here by myself. <laughs> Let's cut this back here and grab that little bit. So we get a little bit of the shiny rose gold. Cannibalizing one of my favorite papers. Patty, look at chat. Stop. What am I? Oh, Lord. What happened? Don't add too much background. Too pretty to cover up. No. Well, that's 20 people's opinion. <laughs> I agree. Hi, Ellen. It's a revolt. <laughs> now that comment makes sense. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I should just put it down here. And let some of this, that pretty bit up here still show. Will that make you happier? And then, and then where does this lovely piece go? Nowhere. <laughs> just use one of them oh cb <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to phone a friend <laughs> this is a lovely piece though and it really pops on there don't you think after i tore up cannibalized my favorite print. Now everybody's saying, don't use it. A bunch of sissies. What if I put it over? Let it overlap on this a little bit because it's going to go clear. Too much? another collage <laughs> oh why do i listen to you broads i think it needs at least a circle somewhere but then where would i put that i don't think this is going to tear with water this is deli this is deli. let's try it up here where it doesn't matter i don't think deli tears like that It does not. Okay. Um, but if I did add a circle, should I just, should that be it? <laughs> please, please stop. Oh, you broads are killing me. I'm going to put that right there on that dark bit. Don't add it. Don't add what? I think you've done. <laughs> so many opinions. <laughs> so little time. <laughs> Just stop there. It is pretty. Where did I put that? Where did I put that piece of paper? Oh, here it is. Hang on. Put this 
somewhere here. All right. I want to drop it at the top. That's pretty cool. Right there. You guys can't see that. I'll lift it up so you can see that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty one. Off the bottom. Overlapping off of this. Oh, Lord, have mercy, people. Let's take one of these and just play with it. Let me get separated here. I got these, I forget where I got these, but I got them years back. This one must have got shuffled in with some other collage papers at one time. And I have those beehive ones, the ones that are just perfect circles. I think I have those in black. I also have some of that gossamer paper I didn't know that I had. Oops, tore it. Telling him like a bull in a china shop. My mother always said that. She was right. I'm not the delicate little creature some of you think I am. <laughs> when these are overlapped though, they don't come out so good. It's really got a pretty good grip in there. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. This goes like almost all transparent. So see this bit up here that I'm trying not to cover? That little. There you go. I like the sheen on that. <laughs> Can't look. My little drama queen. <laughs> oh, mercy. Huh? I'll just leave it white. Right off the center there, overlapping these two things. Kind of up here like a sunshine a little bit. Hey, I wonder if I sprayed it. I know Froil used, um, I think, some uh, Seth sprays. But my, remember the um, Golden's Bronze, how it separates into those, that turquoise color? With my mixing balls in there. I wonder if I sprayed it with this. Wonder no more. We're going to do it. Passing smelling salts. Nice. All right. I'm going to get a piece of deli. What time is it? 2.30. It's only been an hour and a half. I feel like I've been here for five hours. Okay. I'm just going to put this on. You know what? I'm going to put it on black so you can see it. That's what I'm going to do. Because that's the kind of gal I am. It's all about you. Forget about me. <laughs> there is a top and a bottom. Time to stop working. <laughs> Never say die. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Apparently it's clogged. Son of a bitch, are you kidding me? There we go. Oops. And not spraying very well with these cheap ass sprayers I got. 
Remember how good it was working at first? <laughs> Oh, that's doing nothing more than pissing me off. Hang on a second. Where do I get those? Where's those new sprayers? You can see the, tur the turquoise breaking out of it already, though. Ah! Oh, they make me say bad words. <laughs> All right, let's go to the new sprayers. Okay, go ahead and dry up. We'll be back to you soon. And this, I'm just going to throw that in the trash. I'm going to try to pour this into this bottle over the trash. Okay. spoken <laughs> there you go look at that lovely spray now look at you of course that'll take till tuesday to dry let's do this shall we let's pull it off of here Look how pretty that's going to be. I'm just going to let that dry. I'll put that over here on the heater. That'll be dry in two seconds. See how the turquoise is breaking out of there? On the high ends of that? And that may not be the right color for there, but I just wanted to do it just to, you know, kind of piss you ladies off and make you even more nervous and anxious. <sighs> just kidding. Actually, I'm going to set this one over on the heater. But that, that is the wrong color. This is all gold. This is bronze. We don't want to do that. But I do have Seth's gold right here, as a matter of fact. Which means i got to cut out another one of these. I'm just going to try to tear this one. Yeah, those overlaps are a little tricky. Good night. Should have had my Wheaties for breakfast. Can that little fine paper be that strong? <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, let's do this. What the hell is that? Oh, that's one where I punch black holes out of. That won't work. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe she'll forget. I forget everything. Let's try the experiment before it dries. Seth always says to shake these like this so you don't. Hey, Lisa. Don't clog it up. I kind of like the white too, actually. But we'll spray one just for giggles because I'm not sure I'm going to put anything on there. I look at the back of that. Isn't that wild looking? How cute are you that the turquoise does that out of that bronze paint? Yeah, see, wrong color. Oops, you can't even see it. Wrong color. Don't anybody say, I told you so. <laughs> That's so immature. <laughs> oh, God bless us. Okay. Well, instead of wasting another precious piece of black paper, let's just put it on here. Give it the old one, two. CSNNP. Crisis support. <laughs> God love you. <laughs> oh, 
All right, I'm going to set this off to the side. And I think I'm going to just leave it and sneak something in here later when nobody's watching. <laughs> How about them apples? Okay, now let me, I'm going to go check on this UFO. Curiosity's killing the cat, which means, you know, I'm going to pick it up too early and hose it up. So here's the piece I did when we were doing the eye stencils demos with um, one of Joan's stencils with watercolor. I squirted the watercolor paper with water, laid the stencil in it so it would kind of stick to it, and then just brushed some different granulating watercolors through it. Picked up a little foil I had on my plate and different little specks. No, why would it have done that? Oh, off the back of the stencil when it sat there. Aha. Okay, so let's see. Is this dry enough to pick up? I think it is. It's kind of wet on the edges, but we're going to do it anyway because you know that's how we roll. Oh, look at that. Oh, holy moly. More of it got under the stencil than over it. And look how it broke into those turquoise and purple with that real watercolory edge. I'm not going to try to hold it even because it's still wet. Hello, lover. What am I going to do with you? Let me put this over here. It's really dry. That came out cool. That's not how I expected that to look. I didn't realize that the bits under the stencil were going to be darker than where I really applied the paint. So apparently it kind of sucked underneath of that. That was lovely. Oh, thanks for coming in, Jude. Take care, my friend. I'll let you know as soon as the eye stencil re shipping restrictions lift. Yes, hello, lover. That was rather cool. Now, I wonder, let's see. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. Okay, um, so is that what we're doing? Just that? I know it's very busy with that background, but what are you going to do? I kind of like it though. I don't not like it. Let me look back at this one. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like that one too. And see, here's that bronze paint sprayed on that real fine, fine paper. See where they get those fibers that sucked up that turquoise when that bronze separates? It's very fine, but it's there. Okay, what time is it? 10 of 3. When did I start? 1 o'clock? Almost 2 hours? It needs something to push it back. Oh, here we go. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Put it away. It needs something to push it back. Sweet Jesus. What do you want of me? I'm only one person. Hey, look how pretty that is. How about that knocking it back for you? That's too yellow compared to that. It's too orange compared to this. Hundred percent. What'd she say? Hundred percent. Two, yes, 100%. 100%. Oh, 
more times. Ugly. <laughs> oh, God bless you. The truth hurts, CB. Off the corner like that. Too much looking like the sun. Maybe just in white. Maybe we're back to the white deal. Remember this fabric I had? I don't think floral goes with all that, though. What's he saying, Neil? Gala off the corner. White, if anything. Way to go, Gala. Just when we got them settled down. Now you got them all stirred up again. Crazy broad. Um... Oh, sweet Moses. You know, when I tear this one out, this baby's going down on here. Like it or not. Okay. I'll be using this whole sheet today <laughs> and use it for nothing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I want to say it was called Whimsy. What's that white circles paper? I think it was called Whimsy. So now this one off the corner. Up here, like, see, this kind of looks like a planet in the background and a little, oops. Down here, stupid. In the middle, kind of there where it overlaps here and here. Letting this show. I want to try making that beehive paper that Floral uses. Whimsy. Yeah, that's why for some reason Whimsy was in my little head. So where now? Everybody that's got their opinions. <laughs> I'm thinking like right there. Why do I ask you crazy people? What am I going to learn? Just do what you want. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm going to use the Yamato as if I was using the rice paper. And I'm not, but this is very fine. Very fine, fine paper. I need a brush that I don't mind sacrificing to glue. You know how they say, speak now or forever hold your peace? Just hold your peace. Don't speak. <laughs> we, have a, we have a different version of that. <laughs> okay. I want that little moon or whatever that is in the background there to show. And see how, see how translucent that gets? You barely even know it's there. All that fuss, and that's all we had to do. No need for the crisis center. <laughs> Nothing that a little Dairy Queen wouldn't fix. Color me done. Or do I need a little red chop? <laughs> We're going to let that one roll for now.
There's another April. Hello, April Fountain. Thank you. All right. So now I think what I'll do is um, at least make an attempt. I don't want to put this in my watercolor of water. I'm going to take one of these dried up baby wipes in this good for nothing container that is out of here as soon as these are done and spray it with some water try to reactivate it a little bit enough to clean my brush Should I call the crisis center? You might want to have them on hold. You'll probably have to hold for a while, Gail. So it may be a good idea just to go ahead and call and get in line just in case. That way you can get help sooner <laughs> if I do something else stupid. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. That, that brush has about had it. I can tell you that. So let's see. What else do we want to do? I don't dare attempt another one. <laughs> or do I? <gasps> Where's my little... Oh, there it is. Maybe I do. Hang on. Maybe we won't. Should we go for three? That seems crazy. So I was trying to shrink this to no avail. And copy that and reduce it. But I'm going to lose the shimmer of that, of my art foamy in here if I do. All right, let's try something. I need some water in my water brush. Oops. Let me see if I can do this without making a holy mess. This is my water bottle that I leave here to do this. And this has this plunger on it where you just pull the water up into the water brush to fill it. Which is kind of handy instead of trying to pour it in. Where the hell did I put that lid? Are you kidding me? There it is. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Z. I'll see you then. So Xander, Scraps to Beauty, comes on at 4.30. And that's her channel name, Scraps to Beauty. Um, I like all this fuzzy gray around here. So let's, what happens if I do this? That's just copy paper, but it does work with this water cutting, as I like to call it. Oops, big blob, big blob, didn't mean to do that. But this, actually, you know what? I'm going to splatter some water on here because it mixes with the ink from the ink chip printer. And I'll show you what I'm seeing here. See those little tiny turquoise little bits there? That's what happens when the water hits it. So guess what? I'm going to make water hit it. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I just... Oh, I should use my Tim Holtz sprayer wet and get bigger blobs. That's what I'm going to do. Because see, what? look what's happening down here where it had a lot of water on it. See all that's getting a little turquoise there? And it does like pink on the back and turquoise on the front. It's like a magic trick. Really? Okay. Hey, 
Hey, PM. I don't know if you're Mariah or Patricia, but hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to the disaster called my life. Why isn't this? There we go. I want it to just come out in the big droplets. There we go. Now I got it. Okay. Stop. In the name of love. Okay. So, Mariah, hi. I actually have some stencils sitting in my cart on your website. Um, I didn't get finished last night looking at it. But you got some really cool new designs in there. Is that, that's still a little wet. We have a piece of deli. And do this, and hopefully that won't tear, because now I'm starting to really like this page. It just needed a little something. So this, do I want it that way, up and down? Do I, does it matter? It does, but we don't know why yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I tell you what, this time I'm using this piece. I don't care what any of you crazy people say. Um, actually, that's kind of, oh, I wonder what that would look like. Hang on. If I put this down behind it. That's not bad. I might like it that way, actually. I wonder if I might use black tissue with gold paint. Try that out before laying out for the black paper. Yeah, I used black tissue last weekend when I was streaming. Oh. Uh, for something, and I don't know... Right off the top of my head. Where that might be. Oh, here. I jelly printed with this and picked up. This is black tissue that I picked up um, with my geometry mask and a couple shiny paints on the jelly plate. And I used the, um, I used black tissue to pick it up with. That works. I use the uh, Dick Blick art tissue in black for that. I don't know, too much alike. But it's shiny. One's shiny and one's not. That's why I thought maybe I could get away with a shiny background. I think I might do that. Let's let's have a go at that. Let me tear this down some. And I think I need to tear it right on these the edge of the where the jelly plate was right there that one goes a little bit further okay and I don't care that I have a white border Actually, I used to do that intentionally. But I think height-wise, I am going to have a white border. So let's just tear this. As long as possible. This is, I think, um, some of that new, one of those new paints that I got. This um, Britannia Silver from, I don't know how to say that. Nobody does. Lacau, Laco. Um, it's not cheap. I'll tell you that. But if you get it, and I love Dick Blick, get it at Jackson's, even if you're in the U.S. 
because it's much cheaper and I don't know why. I don't know if they really gouge Dick Blick getting it here or what, but it was half. Well, here you go. So this, this one is 85 mil from Dick Blick. This was $31, which I thought that's crazy, but I was in my head thought 85 milliliters was a little bigger than this, but I do love it. So when I found it on Blick, where is it? I don't have it right here in front of me, but anyway, this size on Blick, no, sorry, on Jackson's, this size on Jackson's, 250 mils. This one's 85 mils, right down the bottom, right? This one was 31 on Blick. This one was 30 on Jackson's, three times as much, pretty much. So, just saying, if you want to buy these, now, if you look up this brand, You'll see they have a, a whole um, array of acrylic colors, you know, all the rainbow color wheel colors and all that stuff with all those regular pigments. But these, the metallics are not mixed in with them like they are on, with Golden's acrylics where you get to metallic gold, metallic bronze, whatever. These are separate and you'll find them under Studio Bronze, Laco or however you say that, Alaska, who knows. Uh, studio bronze is what you want to look for. They're in a separate page for that brand. And I got them in like three days. So, yeah, that's going to be a little short at the top, but that's okay. I may just scooch that all the way up one way. And you know what I'm going to do, Dot. You know it. Tell me you know it. I think we might go this way with some black and white stripes just down that end. I'm going to cut it just because that's what I might do. That's not straight. <laughs> I know that's not straight. Oh, jeez. I'm telling you, I am... I have scissor issues. Can't cut straight to save me life. Oh, maybe I'll use one of these because that's kind of like in this. Oh, look what happened here when I sprayed it with water. See what's happening there? You can't hate that, people. Hey, Susan. Hello. Um, okay, so let's do that. Let's do this. You know what? That really looks wonky. <laughs> Crap. Let me try to. I'm really trying. <sighs> trying to really straighten that up. <laughs> Go there. Okay, let's do that. We'll dry fit it. So I was thinking, I see the script looks like it goes vertical. It's real faint on there. Let me get this up here where you got, got a shot at seeing it anyway. Um, so because of that, I think I want to put this one this way. This kind of has a, a line here and then the figure, the crazy eight art foamy going that way and then you get all this turquoise bloom over on this side do i want it right in the middle do i want it down here to kind of touch on that and then put this little bit of the scripting like maybe like that so you guys can't really see the beauty of that because the sheen you don't see you don't see the metallic. You don't see the metallic up there. There's a little more pizzazz in there than you're seeing at that angle. We're going to put it over there. And put a red chop down here. Okay. 
I think I like it off center better than right schmack in the middle. I never get it schmack in the middle anyway. Jackson is the Jackson's exactly the same brand. Yep. Exactly the same. This this bottle came from Jackson's. Yep, for sure. Okay. I think I'm going to do that. Could use another little something turquoise, but I don't know what that might be to bring out these little bits here. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my, um, where's this little rascal? See, I could turn that one over maybe. That's the shiny bronze side. But here's the, this is this paint. Golden's Fluid Bronze Fine Iridescent in water in a spray bottle. And you see how it's separated there with the two pigments that are in it to make it that bronze color. But you can see where that bronze gets pulled into this cottony fabric or whatever that is. I don't know. It's probably going to give Gala a stroke. Let's see, what if we just do a little bit? Maybe that way. I don't know. Is that necessary? I'm looking at it. I didn't have a stroke. I'm just looking at it in the on the screen to see how crazy it sounds. Yes, Mariah, they have a website. And it is PM Artist Studio. Just like her name is on the in chat. Maybe one of the mods can put the link up there. I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like that in there, although the bronze seems a little off. You know what I mean? Um, okay, don't anybody panic. What's this? Dispress spray. Dare I spray another one? salvage patina that I put I think I put a little mica in here too that might look crazy but hang on hold on so if I'm just gonna let it stick oh shoot that one's torn let's see if I'm just gonna let it stick out of the side there maybe I just do this partial one if that's all it's gonna stick out of there is that much Let's just, let's play with it. Give me a moment to experiment further. <laughs> oh my gosh, these, I've had these for a hundred years in here. These are, what the heck are they? Old, old, old painted papers. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. What is the worst that can happen? I do believe I put some purpley turquoise. Uh, what the hell do you call it? Um, come on, you know what I mean. Mica in here. Because why not? some of the light show through. Not that too crazy. I'm going to sit it over here to dry in my space heater. Don't worry, there's no exposed elements. Um, Alright, let's see what happens with that. 
in the meantime, let's get to gluing. I think I'm going to like this one. This goes on the bottom. Oh, here we go. Oh, there, Gala put up the link for um, PM. Artist Studio. Is that what it is? PM Artist Studio. I was right. When you know. Oop. Butter fingers. Get that right on the bottom. Now this one, this will hold up to the glue stick because it's on deli and it's acrylic paint. So that one will let me have my way with it. You need labels. This has been altered. <laughs> All right. I alter. Oh, I almost said the S word. Gail was going to write me up. Okay. Oh, Lord, that's not going to work. I'm zoomed in too close. I got to turn this sideways so I can at least have a little bit of a clue as to where the edge of this is. Just a clue. We don't need a lot. See, not just a little of those stripes you love so sticking out the bottom. And a little wrinkle for a little more texture. Yes, that was intentional. <laughs> Get that one out of my way. That one's going to cause me some heartburn in the near future. Okay. So see, just a little bit of wrinkles in there. See how shiny that one is? That's that Britannia silver. It has a little bit of green in it, but I think there was also a little bronze on my plate when I actually did this one. So this, I do believe we decided. That one, this one. We're going to go like this. I do believe. Right off the bottom edge. That's what we're going to do. See how it comes out pink on the back? And turquoise on the front. How do it know? have to figure out how to reduce these on my printer. This would be cool to have in like 50% and be able to print it on um, my rice paper. Okay, I want that to go into the stripes and break that up. Let's make it a little straighter. <laughs> I think my camera's all jacked up. I'm looking at this all crooked. Hang on, I'll look at that in a minute. Hold on to your lunch. I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to see where the edge of this desk is. Something's wonky. Nope, that's perfectly straight, isn't it? More or less. Okay. I'm guessing it's just my books crooked. Okay. Now I have these here. 
and I really like these, but I rarely have a color palette that these will blend with. But this one does ish. But do they really work? These were fun to make. Um, I guess I went up here, right? We already have discussed this. Oh, crap, I forgot to put my teal circle underneath in there. Oh, bitch, I'm telling you. Can I lift it? <gasps> a little. Do I even want it there? Have a little turquoise sticking out of there? Why not? Okay. Oh, Lordy. I'm going to try putting a little bit of glue stick on this, which I think might be a mistake. And if that's the case, I'm really going to hose this up. But trying to glue it before the other bit. Oh, hell, that poor pulled apart. Okay, hang on. Just a little bit of that sticking out. And then I can take some of this and kind of hit the back of this heavier piece here. Really? Are we going to do this every time I go to use this glue? That there. And put some of that over here. Gala, are you on hold with the crisis center? I might need you to conference me in. <laughs> I love the first one you put on. That real light one. I think it just gets clogged in that silver tip. This one here, you mean? Because it kind of mimics the circles on there. It's darker. Where would one put that now that we have all this other glorious stuff down here? I don't know where it would fit now. I'm going to want to tear these edges. I don't want them just straight edges. This one? That's going on there. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> See, I thought maybe a lighter one somewhere. No, too light. See, you guys can't really see what I'm seeing. I'm going to have to zoom you in here closer. Just to get my point across. See this one? I love that stencil. I mean that stamp. But if I made it kind of raggedy. I don't know. That might be too much. Gail is saying this one. But where? Where would one put that? It's going to be too much if I put it there. Put it down here in the corner a little bit. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, maybe. Something with a little scripting in it down here off the side. Let me just tear this up. And I'm going to tear it as close as I can to the stamp design. God bless Eileen for sending me these stamps. I love these things. Um, oh, got my elbow and the glue page all going about on target there. These were really fun to make. If anybody, you guys follow Louise Hensel. Um, it's L-U-I-S-E-H-E-N-Z-L, I believe. Um, she made these with cash register tape. Um, some stamp cleaner. Rubber stamps with stamp cleaner on them. And then you stamp them on the register tape and heat it with a heat gun. And it has this reaction to put the design in it. Are those a lot? Yeah, this was a roll. This was a roll of cash register tape. Or adding machine tape or, you know, whatever kind of tape. Let's 
because that was on one long roll. But um, that's where I that's where I got the idea from from um, Louise Hensel. I have to check her out. Uh, let me zoom you out a little bit again because now we're getting a little too close. At least the size of the book. There we go. Oh, you like the scripting as well. We agree. Hmm, look at you. It's like you've grown. Come around to my way of thinking. I think I've just weakened you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this with the rice glue. This rice, I call it rice glue. Yamato, it's for rice paper. I don't know what the glue is made out of. Maybe it's made out of rice. I don't know what the hell do I know. I don't know. But I try to get these edges really gluey on this because it does make this go transparent. But if you miss one of the edges, it's going to show up white, which looks kind of out of place when the rest of it's translucent. Get this on, on Amazon. Dot com. I'm like all about the jingles today. <gasps> Don't screw it up now. This is one of your favorite pieces of paper. Don't do it. You're starting to do it, aren't you? Okay. Oh, Lordy, please let me lift up correctly. There we go. Oops, upside down. Jeez Louise. Come on. Work with me, baby. Work with mama. Glue all over my fingers. This might go so transparent that it's not gonna not gonna see what you're supposed to see. I don't know, but it's on there now, baby. It'll be subtle. That's what we're going for, subtle, because you know that's how I am. <laughs> Very subtle. <laughs> see, Gala, Susan says, fun, great ideas. So, what does Gala know? Well. Some are thinking it's great ideas. Some are calling the crisis hotline <laughs> because you're so stressed. <laughs> God bless you. Um, okay. I need to get a different little container of water here for my glue brushes. I love these continuous spray bottles. Oh, Kayla, you may have a point. You may have a point. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on here. Let's see where we are. That's oh, it's got a little, a little lift up here. All right, let me see where I am. Well, hopefully that'll come back and look somewhat like it was supposed to. The silver scripting starting to show through as it dries. You can see the rose gold of uh, that's got foiled through the mink of Joan stencil. I think we're gonna put this bad boy right about there. Let this little hunk of turquoise show there, and just wide enough to get this space in there it didn't sound it's english but it didn't sound like it was very instructional those stamps on the till roll are they yours i own them but they're not my designs actually the pictographs are like this one the pictographs they're mine they're my rubber stamps 
I am. Uh, but these are not mine. They're mine because a friend gave them to me, but they're not my designs. The checkerboard, this is mine. Although I don't, I closed down my Etsy shop because they were just pissing me off. So, well, I don't need that stress. I do have a few stamp sets of rubber stamps left, but. If anybody wants them, they can contact me. I'll let you know what I have if you really want them. Um, yeah, Etsy's making a little hobbyist website that I use it for start to be like a business, and I am not interested in that. Not interested in a business. I just like to play. Look at you. That's birdie. That came out actually pretty good. Subtle, yet it's there. Um, I almost think we need a black and white striped circle, like tucked underneath the here if it's still, still dry. <laughs> That'll really freak Dot out. Where's my hole punch? <laughs> or do I have some already punched? No, they're just white. White, 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 white. I thought for sure I had some. That's terrible. But I think, I just think it needs a little bump, bump, bump. That's If I just bring a little of this, I gotta come out. Buzz out a little bit. Um, that just seems like it's hanging out in the in the nowhere. And then, hang on, this damn punch never quite work. This one's bigger. Do I want to shove that up in there? I think I do, but can I? Nope, now it's kind of down there. But should I, should I interrupt that? And just let a little tail of that come out? Or should I pull it down like this? Oh, that's kind of interesting with that arc kind of going around it. Oh, I don't hate that. Better sight than Etsy for those who just want to have fun. I don't know, Susan. I honestly haven't looked into it. I'm not sure about that. I'm sure there is. What it is, I do not know. A lot of people just sell stuff on a Facebook page. They make a separate page from their personal page and just sell on Facebook. I mean, Etsy was handy in that you could... Um, you know, it would print out your labels and all that kind of good stuff. I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the screen now as I play with the size of this. I don't know. I kind of like the bigger one. Glue it down now. <laughs> Michelle's saying no. Gail is saying glue it down. Yes, yes, yes. No. Glue it down. <laughs> yeah, I think that it's got to be the big one. All right. Gail, can you cue up the... Uh, Crisis hotline for Michelle. <laughs> oh, God, it's so funny. All the different ideas. And either one of them would probably be a good idea. But I do think it needs a little something. It's kind of just sort of there. I just need to bust it up a little bit. Bust it up. That'll overlap these stripes of the figure eight. Well, 
Oh, now I like you better. Fran liked the little one. <laughs> oh, sweet Moses. Let me get way out here. That does have mica in it, but you can barely, barely see it on the little flat edges. You can see a little sparkle. Not the flat, but the, the real sheer part of it. I don't know if you can even pick that up on the camera. It's there, just a teeny tiny little bit. This is still wet. That's drying some. Hopefully that'll be a little more visible and clear. Ah, I think that would have been, a, that may be a fail. <laughs> But that's okay. That's how we learn. I fail for your benefit. I do like this. I like the turquoise, how it came up with this. Print on the, this is Robin's printable. If somebody asked me about that, this big washer here is her printable. And then I stamped my art foamy on top of it and then spritzed it with water so the toner would bleed on there and bring up that turquoise color. And this was Joan's stencil on a metallic cleanup print that I did. All right, now what time is it? 3.30. Z's coming on. I got to get something to eat at some point. So I'm going to um, I think we're going to wrap up with oh, oh shoot. Get some of this stuff out of my way. So we did these three today. Oh, I almost threw my book into my lamp. <laughs> that one. Little red chop down in the corner. This one. And see, we are done and nobody had a stroke. And then this one. Oh, you're welcome, friend. So, I'm going... I believe. Hang on, let me get some of these into safe territory. I'm going to put this out of here. And I think I'm going to end up with trying to make another piece of tissue, just wetting it here, and then we'll have to see it next time. So, this is my previously used trash bag that I put down and I'm going to get oh okay. um where is it where is it do I want to use this lip tissue what's this I don't know which tissue this is. Oh, here it is. Let's use this one. So this is one of the heavier tissues I got on Amazon. It's called, it's 100 pieces, 20 by 26. And it's 17 GSM, which is heavier. And it says it's crackly, crispy tissue. It's by Gift Expressions. All right. Um, this is supposed to be a heavier weight than just regular old like dollar store stuff in a gift bag tissue. Um, I did order a big pack of that uh, Carnival wet strength tissue, um, but it won't be here, here till the end of March. Okay. Let, oh, you know what? I wonder what this would look like. Like now. Okay. Another another thought, another idea. All right. Let's all right. Let me get my My good little bits out of the way. I really need to get these papers organized. They are out of control, people. 
Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put inks down first or sprays down first or if I want to wet it first. Thanks well enough for joining us. Take care. What is this? This is creme brulee. This is a Lindsay Stamp Gang spray. This is the distress spray that I have with a little bit of mica in it. I got Seth's gold here. I got my bronze spray. What was this? Oh, this is some of that Britannia silver that I put in a sprayer. Maybe we'll add some of that in. And maybe some of this uh, Ecoline liquid watercolor. I need something kind of dark in there too. Mm -hmm. Here's some Liquitex white ink. We might need to throw some of that in. Oh, and a little bit of that. We're getting a little carried away. Carried away, Patty. Carried away. A little metallics. Oh, here's some uh, Lindy's Magicals. I'll just put a couple colors down and then see what I want to do. So, let's see. Fran, is that the carnival stuff like Kylie used? I'm not sure who Kylie is. Maybe I'm missing somebody I should be watching. Okay. So, um, I think this time I'll put down some sprays and then I'll come back or inks and whatever. Then I'll come back and wet it. Because before I wet it, I'm going to do it the opposite this time. Kylie Co. I'll have to look her up. Thanks. This is just the Eco Line uh, 700. It's kind of a black, but not a real dark black watercolor. All right. And let's put some of the. Let's put some of this down. This is that Britannia Silver Lascal, or however you say it. You could watch me, Patty. I use it. Fran on the... Is that the name of your channel, Fran? I tell you, screen names, channel names all get me screwed up. I'm not sure who does YouTubes and who doesn't. Is that the name of your channel? that little oh, little turquoise oh look at that when it hit the black uh, creme brulee why not That's just a real fine. Let's get some white in there too. I might I need another color though. I need more turquoise, I guess. Oh, okay, thanks. Do you stream at a regular time? Or do you stream live or do you just do you have uh videos that you make and 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 uh Upload. I need another color. I need another something other than what I got going here. What do I have out here? Ice spruce distress. distress. That kind of looks kind of bland for me, doesn't it? But that's supposed to do cool stuff. Let's throw some assess gold in here. Oh, you know what I can put in here? Licorice. I have licorice out here. That turns kind of a purpley color. What's this? Oh, that's the black silver. Okay. Live streams on Wednesday at 7 p.m. UK time. Okay, cool. Well, I'm working during the day, so I'll, I'll probably have to catch the recording in most cases. 
Damn job's messing up my social life, I'm telling you. All right, let's stop. Now let's put some water on here. Who knows what's going to happen with this. Monstrosity. Trying to get them to move a little bit more. Maybe a little more. A little more what? <laughs> a little more black in here, perhaps. I like where the black and white get schmutzed up there. You can't unless you're a mod, Fran. You can't. You can type in the words Fran on the edge, and then the word dot d o t space c o m. You can put it in like that, but you can't. If you're not a mod on a channel, you can't. Um, you can't put it an active link in, but you can type out the words of the link if that makes any sense. Okay, what do I need? More gold? This will dry by next Friday, I predict. Oh, Joan's iPad. Yeah, she's an iPad. She can't do links. She's a mod, but she can't do links. I'm going to get some of this bronze pretty solid in some of these areas. This was a stroke of genius putting this bronze. i got to say it. It was my idea, but I just think I just love that color and putting it in a spray. Hello, lover. Okay. Um, it's probably time to stop because there's really deep. Like you could almost drown puddles on here. Can't copy and paste a link. No, it won't let you put an active link in unless you're a mod, which the mods show up in blue in chat with the little wrench on the symbol on there. That means they're a mod. Oh, there you go. Gala put it in. There's your link, Fran. Let me click on it so I go. Oh, no, I can't go there now because I'll leave the site. And that would be crazy since I'm the one doing the stream. I think something else should be dropped in there. But hang on. Let me look in here. Well, you know, this is some Ecoline purple watercolor. What the hell? Purple and turquoise never hurt anybody. Some habits you can't break. Some you don't want to break. <laughs> Stop. Now I got to spray them a little bit. Get them to move. Okay. Okay. S-T-O-P. Now we'll see how this ends up. <laughs> Maybe a little more white. Now that I look up at the screen. I love the way the white blends with it. I mean, the paper's white, but that doesn't really count. Put it in the bigger puddles. That'll do what it does. Kind of brightens it up a little bit. Now, stop it. <laughs> okay. What I might need to do, I have this Eco Line watercolor. It's like the distress is really like going away, the turquoise. I'm going to put some of the Eco Line. I think it's called blue green. I 
has a little more oomph, I think, than the Distress. Stop it. No means no. <laughs> All right, kids. Mom, I'm going to go get something to eat and get ready for Xandra. Don't forget Z's on at 430, which is we turned in the U.S. We turned our clocks forward last night. Um, it's almost 4 p.m. and she's coming on at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you there if you show up. Thanks for joining me, guys. Had fun, believe it or not. <laughs> and Gail is still not quite in the loony bin, although I do think she put her helmet on at one point. So, doesn't make her a bad person. <laughs> oh, Lordy. See you, kids. Bye.